Electric staying out. And, uh, really much appreciate them. Appreciate the Buckeye Walk and their, uh, once again, hanging in there when we saw that weather coming in. Uh, also, a tribute to our senior class. It's not a goodbye because we got a lot of ball ahead of us. It was an opportunity for our seniors to tip their hat to the crowd, best fans in the land, and as important an uh, opportunity, which I, well, I thought our crowd was really classy, to say thank you to a group of players that if you just look at their performance, you look at the way they live their lives, you look at the way they represent this great university and represent their families with uh, great honor and character and integrity, and that's what that's the Ohio State that I've known since I've been a young person. So uh, uh, I'll answer your questions for you. Front row right here, Rob. Uh, Urban, can you describe two things? One, the transformation, the evolution of, of J.T. Barrett since he arrived, and uh, what it was like him coming out, your emotions coming out for the last time in this stadium. Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, first of all, I love J.T. Everybody knows that. Uh, his transformation, he's leaving the uh, record-setting quarterback. Um, but uh, once again, I... My emotions were more for him to say goodbye to the crowd. We got, you know, we got a lot of stuff going on here, so it's certainly not a goodbye. When we say goodbye, it's going to be a tough one. But uh, that was not a goodbye. That was uh, a chance for him to tip his hat, and that's why I made that clear to our players to thank the crowd. And in return, I mean, I've been a lot of places where the crowd doesn't tip their hat back at you, and today was awesome. I mean, they did that, and they, it's well deserved. Front row left, Bill. <clears throat> Urban, how closely were you and your staff following the weather forecast and in terms of the importance of, of having the start that you did? And secondly, could you d describe your defensive performance? Yeah, it was, it was the first time we were going to take the ball. Uh, they, they won the toss and deferred, but we were going to take the ball because we followed it really closely. And I think 5, 530 was when it was going to hit. And we wanted to have a dry ball and, and then also select a win in the four, third quarter, second half. But it worked out fine anyways. So. Uh, uh, so we watched it really closely. Second part, defense. defense was dominant. They did what they, what they had. They did what they had to do. Front row, uh, Tim. Urban, what's come over Mike Weber the last couple of weeks? Number one and number two. Uh, just as you watch your offensive line play now, what, what, what are you seeing from them? Obviously, for second straight week, for sure they dominated. Yeah, they're the most improved unit on our team, and uh, the leadership, the, uh, the cohesiveness of that group, uh, led by their unit leader, Coach Studd, has been very noticeable. Uh, was not a strength of our team a year ago. It's a strength of our team right now. And we all know that teams that go to compete uh, with what's coming up down the road, you have to have a powerful offensive line. So very proud of them. Weber, yeah, Weber's uh, just 100% healthy, and he's running like a, a guy that we were bragging about him all summer, and then he had that tough injury. But he's, he's doing very well. Far left, Ari. Urban, last few years you guys have had to play Michigan State in this slot before going on to Michigan, and then ultimately, if you were going to, I mean, it's just a tough run. How important is it to have a game like this um, when you're trying to get back up into the eyes of the committee and, you know, confidence wise and everything going into the, I mean, just to have a game where you could rest starters and do the things that you guys did tonight two weeks before having. How important? Uh, I mean, is it a, is it a big to deal? Be seen or, or, you know, we've had pretty good performances against them the last couple of years when you played at Michigan State. And so I, I don't know. Uh, our focus is on, Celebrate this win with your family and friends, and let's get back to business. And it's rivalry week. Rivalry week. Rivalry week. Week. <laughs> Say that ten times. Uh, it's officially started. Uh, one other quick one. Why, uh, if you could take me into the decision making to put the starters back into the third quarter after the uh, turnover just touchdown? So pissed. Um, <laughs> I just didn't want it to turn into a clown show, which it looked like it for a minute. And I got to give Dwayne and a lot of credit to bounce back like that. Front row right, Austin. Urban, you seem so intent all week about not letting any distractions, playoff talk, Big Ten race next week into let your team. But the East is a goal for you and getting back to Indianapolis. So does the team get a chance to celebrate that? How important is just a division title to you today? Well, very important. Uh, however, we did celebrate it for a quick minute, and then that's over. Now it's time to put our laser lights on our, our rival. Uh, far left, Doug. Urban, we know you always talk about wanting to play your best ball at the end of the season. Here you are going into Michigan week. How do you feel where your team is going into this game? Uh, I love our focus. I love the fact the way we're practicing and the word focus is intent focus is the mantra right now. And um, I like where we're at. And Paris Campbell, we know he missed a couple games in, in the middle of the year there. Got him back involved in the offense. Just when you have that, what does that bring to you guys? He's dynamic. And he hasn't, you know, he hasn't played like that. 
you know, but th that just tells you that you have to practice. You know, why is Mike Weber playing so well? He's practicing so well. Why is Demetrius Knox, wh who's Demetrius Knox? All of a sudden he's great in champions because he practiced so well. Paris is a perfect example. You know, I hear people make comments, well, he'll, he'll be okay for game day. What does that mean? You know, you're not, that, that's not the way this works. He's got to practice to get where he's at, and he's practicing really well this week. And last three over on the right, we're going to go Clay, Jared, and then Steve. Clay? All three. Just you first. Are you aware that your rival lost today, and just how quickly did you make that pivot in the locker room? Uh, pretty quick. We celebrated the fan chance that we're going to go to Indianapolis, which is a goal every year. And then, uh, uh, yes, I was aware, and we dive right into the getting ready to go. Jared? Urban, on a similar note, uh, every year when you prepare a team for this week that's coming up here, uh, the, it seems like the hype grows and grows and grows. How do you want your team to manage the week? Uh, because you know what it's like. It's, it's an insane, exciting week. How do you want your, your players to, maybe even the ones that haven't been through this before, to, to manage the hype and what all goes into it? Well, there's not a template. It's because every team's different. You know, we, uh, we know what we're doing. I'm going to evaluate that on Sunday, talk to our staff. I have some coaches never coached in this game yet either. So we have to coach coaches through it. Uh, they're going to, you know, the facility changes tomorrow. Everything changes. And, uh, but I'm going to monitor that. I can't answer that question now because I want to see how they respond. And final question, Steve. Yeah, Coach, I know Paris Campbell is one of your favorite guys, and it seemed like in the first quarter you guys came right out to get him the ball and get him involved, and he helped you set up, I think, a couple, the first two touchdowns. I think he helped you set those up. Just seems like is he back healthy now, yeah. and was there a concerted effort on your part to get him the football? There sure was. Uh, once again, it's because he's one of our best players, and second only practiced so well this week. When, uh, you know, last week he did not practice that well, you know, and so it wasn't a concerted effort, but it's what you see on Tuesdays and Wednesdays when you decide the game plan, and he was outstanding. Is, is he a guy that can help you do some big things here the next few weeks if, if he can hold down? Oh, I think he's one of our best players, yeah. He's, uh, he has that ridiculous, that reverse was ridiculous effort, and, uh, yeah, he's a dynamic player. Great. Coach, thank you very thank much. You. <laughs> hey, folks, if you're in a chair, can you please move it over to your right, please?